Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over two things. Uh, the first will be how to uh, accept design option and, uh, and move forward in the project. And the second will be how to establish some basic work sets so that we can um, uh, begin to organize some of our content within the model. Um, as you can see, I've got this uh, project that I've been working on open. And uh, I've been working a little bit on this massing. You can see uh, this is the context uh, that we massed up earlier. Here's the church. And uh, what I'd like to do right now is uh, uh, toggle over to the uh, views that I've set up for evaluation. So here I have the design options that I had been working on and then one additional one, which I'm going to make this design option here uh, the primary and accept it. And then uh, once I have that, I'm going to start moving forward with the project by uh, ma uh, applying walls and surfaces to this uh, particular massing. And uh, 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 in doing that, I'm going to want to uh, set up some uh, work sets so I can more easily toggle uh, some of the materials on and off. So the first thing I want to do is to go into the design options. You can see here uh, I have the four. <clears throat> And this design option four happens to be this corner study. And what I want to do is uh, uh, accept it. So like coming up here to the design option set, you can see that if I'm down here, it doesn't give me the option to accept primary. But if I'm at the top of the set, I can accept the primary design option. And uh, it's telling me that it's going to cause all of the other uh, elements within the other design options to be deleted. And that's exactly what I what I need to do. One thing this does is it keeps your uh, project pretty lean and it and it lessens confusion. So if you don't have if you're not carrying these design options through the project, then uh, the best thing to do is as soon as you make a determination, archive your old model. So you have a record of the design options you did do but go ahead and accept the design options uh, within the working model so that you're not carrying all this extra stuff that you really don't need uh, for it in the job. But archiving it will make sure that you have a record of it for reference later. So uh, in this case, I'm going to say yes. Now it's, it, it's interesting, it will also tell you, um, it will ask you whether you would like to delete views that were created uh, with the other design options. And I think this is pretty useful because you'll just have a bunch of redundant views and uh, redundant sheets uh, if you don't do this. So uh, it's actually a nice way to clean things up. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept. And when that happens, uh, some of these active views that we were just looking at actually get deleted, which is fine. I can recreate that view uh, uh, you know, at a different time. It's no big deal. Um, so now that I've done that, I have this one option that uh, I'm going to be working with. One thing I want to do with this option is uh, be able to turn it off. Now, just like all the other massing in my model, uh, this, is a, this, this is a mass model with a couple of different massing materials that I've just sort of custom created. Uh, but uh, when I turn off massing in this view, it actually turns everything in the model off. And that's really not what I want to do. What I'd like to be able to do is, uh, as, I, as I develop this facade with real element elements, I'd like to keep the rest of this model turned on. So I kind of want to find a way to break it out. One thing I could do uh, is hide this uh, element in view. But really what I want to be able to do is to hide it kind of uniformly throughout the model. So I want to, I want to have a, an easy way to, to turn that on and off without having to uh, go through each individual view and, and turn it off. Uh, something a little bit more systematic. Let me unhide that view, unhide that element. So what I'd like to do is to create some work sets. Now this used to be a real problem in previous versions because once you had a work set, you kind of had to live with it for the rest of the model's life. 
but over right now with 2012, I can collapse work sets whenever I need to. So it becomes a lot more flexible. Uh, one way to think about this is if you've ever worked in Photoshop and you've used uh, layer sets um, or layer groups, it's kind of a similar way. I can take uh, lots of different things and assign them to a work set and be able to turn them on and off uh, pretty easily. And uh, um, it helps to to be able to do that, even if everything, uh, some of the things are, are masses or some of the things are generic models, you still want to be able to group them together. With uh, the new work sets, grouping them together means I can always break them apart later on in the job if, it, if I move into a different phase. So it's really, really helpful uh, that they've done this in 2012. What I'll do is just create a new work set called uh, uh, Department Store Mapping. And it's really in department store and office, but that's okay. Um, and then what I what I want to do just very easy, very quickly, it asks me if I want to make it the active work set. And actually, I, I don't right now. Um, and then uh, what I'd like to do here is just very easily I can select this object and set it to department store massing. Hit apply. So uh, now that that's done. I can open and close this work set uh, within the model at large. So I can come here to the work sets and simply go to the department store massing and close it. And when I close it, it disappears. And it'll disappear for the entire model. Um, additionally, I don't know if I still have my 3D view. Yeah, I do. Uh, it's turned off in this model. If I uh, turn it back on, excuse me, in this view. It'll turn back on. The other thing I can do is within uh, an individual view, I can use this toggle here under the work sets tab in uh, the VV. I can turn this massing off hide that and it will turn off. That's just view specific. So if I migrate back to my 3D view, I'll actually see it in the 3D view. So there's lots of control you can have now with uh, work sets that allows you to just uh, set up a more efficient workflow uh, down the line. Uh, that's it.